Hey you guys, I hope you are having a great day so far. Please forgive me, I'm a bit of a hot mess today. My day completely started out different from normal. I had to run to different things and do different things and I didn't think I was actually going to film today but then things ended up in a way that I actually had time to film so yay I am here. My hair is a hot mess right now. I need to bleach my roots. I need to figure out what color I'm doing next. I have no idea. I was going to do pink like a real soft baby pink but now I'm kind of leaning towards the blue so I don't know. So my hair is a hot mess which is odd because I got like four or five different compliments on it yesterday and I'm like how my to me this looks like a disaster but I was getting compliments all day like I don't know how. Today we are here to unbox my January <laughs> Sephora play box. I know it's February and I'm probably going to be getting let's see it's February 10th so I'll probably have my February Sephora play box by next week or the week after at the latest. So I'm a little bit behind on this but part of that is because I have been doing this whole no buy thing so I kind of just forgot about it because I wasn't going to use the products anyway. But I wanted to get it unboxed for you guys. So here it is. This is what it looks like. I swear I think someone at Sephora follows my channel because um, this is smaller than normal. Not as small as it should be, but it's smaller than normal. So it says this is supposed to be like stress busting beauty. Um, we'll see how that goes. But let's get into this. Here is the bag. Sorry, I have so much stuff on my desk right now. It's ridiculous. Like, I try it and be organized, but my office is the one place that ends up like a disaster. And it's really just my desk. And then the floor, like over here, is kind of like the drop spot for anything that comes in. But here is our play bag. It is red today. And it says this on the back and let's see let's open this up I need to clear some space and dump everything out first thing is a repeat this I've gotten this probably maybe four to five times now this is the smashbox photo finish smooth and blur primer i'm actually wearing this today because i need to use my emergency makeup kit today which i am going to be filming a video about very very soon which is why my brows look a little crazy i have like still a favorite brow product but not one that goes very well with my current hair in that bag but i have this exact primer in that bag so i'm actually wearing it today i actually really like it it's just one of those primers that it's very silicone i'm throwing stuff all over the place it's very silicone -y and very slippery so i recommend using it in a very small amount so i am happy to see this um but again we got a primer I'm still not running out of primers. I need to do a video on how many primers I have. It's unhealthy. This I'm very happy to see. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. My favorite eyeliner ever. I've only found one eyeliner. One. Period. That even comes close to this. That is the... Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. This is almost a dupe for this. So if you want to stay away from Kat Von D products, I would highly recommend this Clinique pen. It's amazing. I love it. It's a brush tip. Very fine. I've tried so many different eyeliners and this is still my favorite. However, these do tend to dry out fairly fast and the last one of these I got the formula was off like it wasn't as pigmented as it usually is and it was almost like the pigment separated so I don't know whether it was like too hot or too cold in transit or what happened but it was weird so we're gonna check this one and make sure it's good let me see See, here's what I'm talking about. Do you see that? 
it's like translucent. It's not as opaque as the Kat Von D liners used to be. Like, I don't know what is wrong with the formula, but it's not as black as it used to be. So I don't know, did they change the formula? Did they go cheaper? I mean, it still lasts. Like, I'm like scrubbing at that fresh line and it's not moving, but they're just not quite as black as they used to be. It's frustrating because this used to be my favorite and it's still good. And I'm one of those people who can... Okay, so I thought my heater was doing something weird. It's not... Do you hear that weird sound? I might be able to cut it out in editing. But that... Someone's running a freaking jackhammer in my neighborhood. So there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm sorry about the jackhammer sound, but... Anyway. Um, I'm one of those people who can separate the person who creates the product from the product itself. And this is a really good product. It's just frustrating that I have to go over the line like twice to make sure it's dark and opaque when I never used to have to do that. So that's really annoying. But I will use this, so I'm happy to see that. Um, just so you guys know, if you haven't followed my no-buy videos, I'm actually not going to be using any of the products I'm opening today until after my no buy is over. I just didn't want to cancel my Sephora play boxes and then start them back up after I stopped the no buy just because um, I'm lazy and I will probably forget. It's not that I'm like super lazy, it's just I tend to forget stuff like that if it's not high on my priority list. That jackhammer is driving me crazy. Okay, let's move on. Next, ooh, yay, Glam Glow. I love Glam Glow stuff. This is their Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I love this. This stuff is so good. I'm a huge fan of this. Except, it smells like black licorice, which I hate. Like, the smell of this stuff nauseates me. It smells awful. I'm still going to use it because it's really, really good for my skin. Like, my skin loves these masks. I'm just going to have to, like, not breathe for the time this is on my face because it stinks. I hate the smell of black licorice. It's disgusting. Okay, next one. Ooh, okay. This is Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Smoothing Treatment Lotion. So shake well, pat and clean skin with cotton powder fingertips, AM and PM. Interesting, let me see. I'm gonna check our little paper. It says, comfort stressed out skin with a reishi, chaga, and coprinous mushroom pack treatment that feels like water and soothes like lotion. Okay, so I'm assuming you would use this in your routine where you would use a serum. Now, I have tried um, chaga specifically for like energy and focus in the little, um, the company that makes little mushroom teas. You all know what I'm talking about. If you're ever on YouTube, you've seen them. Anyway, I've tried their like mushroom coffee. They're so, so good. But I've never tried like mushrooms like on my skin. So I'm really interested to give this a shot. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Let me, whoa, that's like liquid, liquid. Okay, this is not like a lotion at all, you guys. This is like flat out like a toner or a serum. Like, it's like water, basically. But yeah, that's like straight liquid. So I would definitely use this. This shouldn't say lotion. This is not a lotion by any means. This is a toner or a serum, but it's it's basically a toner. Um, so I would apply this with a cotton pad or put a little bit in the palm of your hands and rub it and then pat to apply. But yeah, that's definitely not a lotion. <laughs> I like almost like full on much, that would have been a disaster. So yeah, this has the consistency and the feel of a toner. So that's where I would use it in your routine. I cannot 
wait to try this out. I love toners. I'm very happy that we got one in a box because I don't think we've, other than a couple spray toners, I don't think we usually get toners in these boxes. So that's awesome. Next up, we have the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. This is a duplicate of one we already have. I have not tried this yet. I literally have one sitting right in my sample drawer that I have not tried because I still have a ton of setting sprays. And this one I thought was really cool because it actually comes with a roller ball, so you mix it up, which is really cool and also slightly terrifying because when it says close eyes and mouth while applying and it has a mixer bowl, I'm kind of like, what is in here? I have a feeling this is like the equivalent of facial lac, but we'll see. This one will also go in my drawer, and um, when I get around to testing the first sample that I got, if I like it, then I'll keep it and use it, and if not, then I'll probably take the second one and either donate it or give it to someone who would like it. All right, and the last thing we got is a perfume sample. This is also a duplicate perfume sample. Unfortunately, this is not a perfume that I really like that much. It's C Passion by Giorgio Armani. This one, it does smell good, but let me remind myself what this smells like because it's been a while, but I don't remember liking it very much. Yeah, mm -mm. no, it's too soapy. It's like flower petals and soap with the, a tiny bit of citrus, but I can't do it with the soap scent in it. Not a big fan of that. So I will probably pass that on to someone else. Not a big fan of it, which is strange because usually I like most of what our money comes out with, but not that. All right, I'm going to go over everything we got really, really fast. Like always, we got the Smashbox Faux Finish Primer. The Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Mask, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray, the Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Toner. Not lotion, toner. Okay, and C Passion from Giorgio Armani. Um, least favorite. Probably this, just because I won't wear it. I mean, it's not bad, but the smell is just not for me. And then my favorite thing. Ooh. Probably the Glam Glow Super Mud, even though it stinks and I can't stand the smell of it, because it does such good things for my skin. All right, you guys, and now the jackhammer has stopped. I'm done filming and now it stopped. It's gonna be one of those weeks, isn't it? Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I put up new videos a couple times a week. You guys can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm pretty much everywhere, and all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.